T-28 Super Heavy Tank was an American heavily armed cell-propelled gun designed for the United States Army during World War II. It was originally designed to be used to bake through German defenses and was later considered as a possible participant in the planned invasion of the Japanese mainland. Two prototypes of the T-28 were built and they underwent evaluation at the Aberdeen Proving Ground. The mechanical superstructure was taken from the T-23. The original plan was to build five prototype vehicles with a production total of 25. Its total weight, when fully equipped, would have reached 95 short tons. Due to its extreme weight and low engine power, the T-28 had extremely limited obstacle crossing ability and could not cross any of the portable bridges available at the time and so was considered impractical in the field and not suitable for production. The T-28 had no conventional turret with a casemate style hull instead giving it a comparatively low profile as the later examples of the fully enclosed Jagdpanzer family of the German tank destroyers, not entirely dissimilar of the 50 short ton weight German Jagdpanzer. Its main armament was a 105mm T5 E1 gun. The main gun had a range of up to 12 miles. When traveling, the gun was locked at the maximum elevation. The only other armament was an M2 Browning machine gun on the ring mount above the commander's hatch for anti-aircraft use. The armor was very thick compared to other tanks of the time, up to 12 inches or 305 millimeters at the front. This was considered heavy enough to provide protection from the German 88mm gun used as an anti-tank gun at the time. The lower hull front had 130mm armor and the size 64mm. The T-28 was designed to be used for attacking the heavy defenses expected of the German Siegfried line. The 105mm gun selected was known to have very good performance against concrete and expected to be extremely effective at reducing heavy fortifications. After the vehicle passed trials, the German Siegfried line had already been infiltrated and overwhelmed by the Allied forces, so the designers decided to have the T-28 tanks to fight on the Japanese mainland later in the war. Japan surrendered before the tank was able to transport it overseas. It is the sole remaining example of these tanks was exhibited at the Patton Museum of Cavalry and Armor in Kentucky. In 2011 it was shipped to its new home at Fort Benning, Georgia. It will be placed in the new Patton Park where all the tanks being stored at Fort Benning will be displayed. Patton Park will be completed by 2020. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel on PayPal. Details in the description box.